Welcome to the Charlie Bahama Show. I am your boy, Charlie Bahama, and we are here all the way over at Art Basel and Untitled at the Turn Gallery, looking at all the Bahamian artists that are over here representing. So this is gonna be amazing. I'm telling you, the artwork, and oh, thank you, Pemberton. It's, it's Dave. Oh, Pemberton, thank you. Oh, while you're here, Pemberton, tell me, what do you think about this art? It's a, uh... It's a microcosm of, of struggle and redemption and, and, and man's insistence upon joy and, and recovery. Uh, and if I wasn't in public, I'd have a tear running down my face right now. No, don't see it. Thank you, Pemberton. Mm, well, whatever you like. Thank you, Pemberton. So come on back, all right? Bahamian artist here at Art Basel and Untitled. The Charlie Bahama Show will be right back. Keep up with all things Charlie Bahama by following Charlie Bahama on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Get behind the scenes access to Bahamian and international celebrities, along with travel info, tips, photography, and video. Like, share, and follow Charlie Bahama on all social media platforms. And subscribe to our Charlie Bahama YouTube page to catch up on all past episodes and bonus clips. You can also go to charliebahama.com anytime. We always keep the lights on. The Charlie Bahama Show. All that same flair with a little less hair. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahama Show, and we are here at the Turn Gallery in Untitled over here at Art Basel. It's amazing, and I'm here with a good friend of mine, Amanda, hey. who, who I've known and her dad so, so well. Oh, my gosh. But Amanda, it's so good to have you here because you are, I guess, the preeminent uh, art supporter for the Bahamas for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years? About, about that, yeah, yeah. Wow. And then we have Jody here. Hi, how are you? So we're going to hear your story uh, because, yeah, I want to hear all about you. All these, um, these beautiful women are here because we're going to talk to listen other to artists and they're all, I mean, I'm the luckiest guy. <laughs> and listen, for the, I, I bought my own piece of art here. Okay. So we're... we're you want us to hang that? Uh, I, I, it's a, it, I'm going to make it into an NFT because I hear that's the, that's the that's thing now. Thing. That's the thing. Whatever the NFT, that, that's, that's the thing. So, I mean, isn't this, I, I sweated. Actually, you know, my, my butler made this for me. <laughs> okay. who, who he he, uh, the, he opens the show every, every uh, show for me. He's the one who made this, so I didn't even make this, but uh, it's but, still but mine. That's just, that's just called, called having an assistant, right? So a studio yes. assistant. Studio exactly. assistant. Because it came out of here, so it was my idea. So yeah, I'm, I'm sure this, this got to be at least a million dollars. Yeah, at least, I mean, of course. Even smell, it smells of real wood. <laughs> See that? So we'll do this later on. But anyway, let's get to the real art. Let's get to the real okay. art. Okay, yeah, so Amanda, first of all, I mean, like I said, you were in charge of the NAGB for uh, many years, and now you're with Turn Gallery. So what, why, why Turn? Like, what, what, what made you do that? Well, working at the museum, a museum's a very specific job. It's mostly educational. You're there to preserve and you're there to educate. And uh, through that time, because I've had relationships with Bahamian artists for so long, because actually, when I was living in Europe still, I was still showing Bahamian artists. Um, I realized there was just this gap and gap that they, they wanted the museum to do things that actually a commercial gallery does. And I said, I can't ethically do that. As a museum director, I can't get involved in the market. I can't be working about money. That's not my job. And we just saw that there was something and we needed to create spaces to bring these artists to the market because it shouldn't be that a Bahamian artist has to leave to become successful. Savara Strong had to leave. LeVar Monroe had to leave. Janine Antoni had to leave. We want Bahamian artists to thrive at home so they can stay with their families, stay in their communities, and be successful. So Turn, we opened in December last year to do exactly this kind of thing, to do these kind of shows, to reach the international market, and to bring Bahamian artists to the world. Wow. That's it. And Jody, and, and what's your foray into the art world? So I'm the gallery manager at Turn, mm -hmm. um, and I'm also represented as an artist by Turn right. as well. Yeah. So tell us about your work. I want to hear, like, what, what inspires you? What, what, what 
type of work do you do? Is it painting? Is it sculpture? So I'm an interdisciplinary artist, so I do a little bit of everything. Yeah, performance, I, performance, video, videography, painting, sculpture, sculpture. Yeah, so a little bit of everything, and I'm inspired by well, women artists um, and what it means to be a woman in the Bahamas, and just aiding in that social commentary. Wow. Because I mean, I don't think it was necessarily intentional, but mm -hmm. if you think about all the like Bahamian masters, it's all men. And, and that's okay, but like a lot of women have amazing creative talent and they just were sort of at a certain period overlooked. We represent male artists too, definitely at turn, but for Miami we just wanted to bring all Bahamian, all women. The gallery is owned and operated by three Bahamian women and we're really proud of that. So we just wanted to represent. Wow. Well, you guys are representing. So let's talk first about, because some of the artists couldn't come over. That's right. And some we're going to talk to in the next segment. And also another Bahamian artist at another gallery, represented by a New York uh, gallery. So tell us a little bit about these artists here. So, well, I think Jody should talk about Kendra Farup. Okay. She's, a uni she's at University of Tampa, but Jody was actually her student. So. Oh. Yes, I had the wonderful opportunity to be taught by Kendra. Uh, she's a printmaker and a sculptor, so everything she does is either... Um, infusing found objects with made objects, infusing natural materials like wood and bronze, but with more unnatural material like plastic and resin. Um, so this work is um, of sugar apples on top of prints, on top of reclaimed wood that she found. And she's obsessed with antique shops, so there's a little bit of that infused in here. Um, yeah, and Kendra's just amazing. She does everything herself. Everything. She's a powerhouse <laughs> of an artist, so we actually have more work coming um, in from her later this week as well. So. Yeah. Wow. And like every work she says is like a snapshot of like walking down a family island road. So it's the, she uses a lot of the fruits to have that sense of, you know how your memory is tied to taste and smell? So she's always got these like fruits in there too and then the old clapboard houses. And yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, see, my inspiration was clapboard house yeah, too. Yeah. Okay, let's slide over. And then over here, we'll slide over. Over here we've got Sydney Colby. So Sydney Colby is um, also qu quite young, around Jody's age. I don't want to like call everyone's age out, but uh, and she's a painter who's just taken off like crazy. We actually sold out of these on um, the first day of the fair. So this is the one we have right now. We're about to wrap it. The rest have all been wrapped and shipped already. Uh, so we had more. And what she does is she creates these digitally, they're digital, um, digital collages, but then she goes and she paints it. So you can anyone in the Bahamas will know what this is, it's Andrew's yeah. fabric. Um, this is, of course, Junkanoo technique with the crepe paper. Uh, she's got, like, again, the sugar, sugar the apple. glitter, the, but also the sugar apples. And what's funny is these two artists didn't know they were making this work. So we just opened it all up and we were like, man, we got the sugar apple bottom jeans here. <laughs> and uh, and it's all, again, it's all about honoring our culture. You know, Junkanoo's in there, Andros is in there. It's still really contemporary. Same with Kendra. Like, you know, you look at that and it's not traditional Bahamian art, but it's all about preserving and honoring and celebrating our culture. And that's what we're so proud of. And we're so proud that this is, I mean, we have sold out this booth. We've been in every art magazine, top 10 booth in this fair, um, director's pick. Uh, and there's maybe 2,000 galleries in Miami this week. And we have consistently been in the top list. So, you know, the Bahamas is just like in the Olympics, man. We're knocking it out of the park. We're a small country, but we mighty and we're taking the art world by storm. So we're super excited, super wow. excited. Wow, this is amazing. People don't understand how big Art Basel and Untitled is. Yeah. So let's go and over. And you know you're gonna meet later, right. so I wanna talk about that. April, you'll also meet later. But over here, we've got work by an artist called Tiffany Smith, um, who's actually Bahamian, Guyanese, and Jamaican. Uh, so this is her work, she's a photographer, but it's actually also performance-based. So sometimes she does them in big installations. And again, you see the same language, right? You see the Androsia fabric again. And a lot of it is about the, the, in a lot of these women also we're dealing with the trope of Caribbeanness. Like you go to the States and suddenly everybody wants you to be walking around with bananas on your head and like a coconut grass skirt. And you're like, no man, that, that ain't how we roll. But um, she's- playing. I almost wore my coconut grass skirt today for this. I almost but... wore my coconut top bikini, Ooh, you know, yeah. We could have been a team, you I, could I, go on the I road. Know, right, and then we would have sold, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so she's, she's like playing with that. And then this one, it's, it's all this idea of like, if we could live the life that people actually imagine we live, because people want to, they think we live like a vacation, because that's all they see, right? I they know. see the Bahamas, and they think that's how we roll. And I'm like, no, man, I go to work every day. 
No, you're 100% right. Everybody say, wow, you grew up in the Bahamas. It must have been magical. It was magical, but there was a yeah, little bit of, you know. But also we live normal lives, right? So she's kind of playing with those those tropes and she's like presenting herself in this way. It's kind of almost like Carmen Miranda. Like, this is what you want? Okay, I'll give you that. Wow. So, yeah, they're all being diggity, of course. They're all diggity women. Yeah. Um, but we're here to represent. Well, I think you guys are representing. And Amanda, I've always known your career. And, you know, it's amazing that you were able to pull this off and do this and much, much success to you because your success also is, is the success of Bohemian artists. So, yeah. uh, you know, congratulations Thank on you this. Thank so much. Thank you. And we're so proud of Gio, who's at another gallery, but like we're bigging up everybody. Tavara yeah. Strawn's at the main fair. Jeffrey Maris, who's from One Family Junkanoo Group, is over at NADA with a solo booth. There's also Dominique Knowles. There's also Arnold Kemp. There's Bohemians all through this, this city right now. And again, for such a small country, we are really doing it. Wow, yeah. So come on back because we're going to talk to some more Bahamian artists and you can bid on this, okay? Just Charlie Bahama, just bid on this, okay? It's going, so far I think the bid is at a million two, okay? But a million two Gneps, that's for some reason that's what somebody offered me, a million two Gneps. Anyway, Charlie Bahama Show, come on back. The Charlie Bahama Show will be right back. Hey, welcome back to the Charlie Bahama Show. It's your boy Charlie here, and we are here so proud to be here with some Bahamian artists all the way here in Miami Beach at the Turn Gallery. So, Anina and April, now we're here in your gallery, I guess, right? Y'all taking over Miami Beach. And now, April, this is your work right here, right? Yes, yes. And, and your name is April Bay now. Is that, is, Bay is your real last name, or are you just like, it is my real last name, but it actually has African American roots. So, yeah, so that's, that's my legal name. Wow, because that is like a star name right there. So, you know, they really, you know, right from birth, you were a star. So, we're going to talk about your work and this stuff. And Anina, and this is your work right here. Yes, it is. So, now let me ask you guys this. I mean, first of all, how proud do you, you guys feel to be representing the Bahamas in Miami Beach? Because, you know, our Basel and Untitled. These are worldwide. I mean, people from all over the world are here. Yeah, well, I mean, it's exciting, and it is definitely one for the record books. We have so many artists out here today. I'm super excited to be showing in Miami because I don't know if you're from the Bahamas, you know Miami is your neighbor. So it's an opportunity to share what we're doing at home with those who are here in the U.S. or who have ties, you know, Coconut Grove, I see you. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, I'm, I'm Coconut Grove, too. That's right, I see you. Oh, that's boy, right. yeah, that's me. I write on Grand, you know, Grand and, uh, and Douglas. I don't really know the oh, name okay, of so it. Okay, so I lived in Coconut I Grove. I know that we got roots there and our peoples is there. And what I'm saying is we are now close in proximity. We are here and you can come out and see the work and see yourself being represented. Amen. Yeah, I, I, I actually grew up in Coconut Grove over here too. And it's so funny because we got a Coconut Grove in, the Bahamas, in Nassau yes, as well. So, exactly. But yeah, I grew up here in Coconut Grove, my, my grandmother, uh, big time. I mean, she even had a plaque. There's, there's a park in there named after my great grandfather in Coconut Grove. Oh, get out. Well, I have to go to that park. Royalty here. Come, you could touch me. There you go. There you go. So April now, what about you? How do you feel being over here? It's mind blowing. Like it's, I can't believe it. It's like all of the conversations that are happening. Um, I'm seeing all of my friends that I know, because we're scattered all over the place. And so like all of the Bahamians that I love are here at the same time. So like getting to talk to each other about our work, um, seeing it within the contents, context of like the international art fairs and like where we stand, what we're saying, the concerns and issues that we have. It's, it's mind blowing, like this is reality. Like every day I get up, I'm like, is this like really happening? And it is. Yeah, wow. So this is your work. So now, I don't know if the camera can get so much. We'll, we'll do some close-ups after. But so tell me a bit about this. Like, is this, um, like, is this stitching? I mean, what, what is? It's digitally woven. So it's a digital analog digital process. So it's digitally designed and then it's digitally woven with like a, a textile printer. Yeah. Wow. This and is interesting. there's hand sewing. So there's like a year's worth of hand sewing like all around the piece as well. Wow, this is amazing. I, I love how, how it just, you know, just expanses across here. This is amazing. Oh, wow, see, I didn't get to see that. Yeah. So we got to show the close-ups of everything because this is so intricate, amazing. And, and what I like about it is 
it, you're, you're getting into like, you know, you're, you're young, so this is all like the, you know, teaching us the new uh, aspects of things with digital and everything like that. So the next step is the NFT, right? <laughs> know anything about nfts but like if it's ever explained to me in an equitable way where i could understand i'd be up for it i'd be open for it but. oh yo no me too let me tell you something <laughs> i'm trying to figure it out myself you know uh so but we'll, we'll get into that later come on back over here now let's talk about your your work over here so this is now you know i i actually am an artist as well but in the photography realm okay. so i don't know all about this now so what is this medium like what what is this porcelain is this uh, well, this is ceramic. Ceramic, okay. Right, and this particular piece is composed of several different types of stoneware clay. Mm -hmm. So I know, like most common is porcelain, but this is composed of multiple different types of clays. In fact, that's what's bringing the coloring and the piece to the forefront. Wow, this is amazing. So, so tell me, what what inspired you with this? Tell me, what what is this saying? What is this saying? <laughs> This is saying hello world, first Ooh, of all. It did, you're right. But in Bahamian, my but boy. Bahamian, hey, <laughs> morning. Anyway, but what I'm really trying to say with my whole entire platform is elevate the women and the work and the creative work that women do in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my, for, my way of making is by plaiting, which is the Bahamian kind of straw work mm -hmm. work. And I inherited that from my grandmother. And I think as an artist, when I think about my legacy and my history and the kind of work that I want to leave, it's not just presently where I am, but it's also where I came from. Mm -hmm. And it's not often that these women are celebrated in a way um, that is on such a large scale, and I think that they deserve it. They're oh, yeah. the backbone of a lot. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. Yeah. So my work, everything that I do is dedicated to the work that they have done to put me in the position that I am now. And what you're seeing here is a manifestation of that in a sculptural form, and it's for the taking. Amen, amen. Yeah. Come on over here, April, because you were talking about women. It seems like the women, the Bahamian women are rocking it because it's all women. Oh, yeah, I mean, sure. you all are taking over, man. Hey, guys, come on now. Step up, step up, you, you know, step it up. <laughs> you know? No, no, Amanda's saying no, no. It's just the women. Dang. Anyway, well, listen, I am so proud of you and I'm so happy that you guys are here. So also, I think next year, um, maybe Bahamians need to come over for Untitled. Oh, if they're uh, not here now, they should be. Well, they are the ones that live here, but I'm saying, you know, you know, Bahamians, especially now, this is coming on December, they're coming over here to shop, right? So come over this time. So go do your Walmart and everything like that, but then come here and check out and support all the Bahamian artists. Because let me tell you, it is a jam. Not only to see other art, but to see the Bahamians amongst this. It's amazing. All right, Charlie Bahama, come on back. The Charlie Bahama Show will be right back. Hey, and welcome back to the Charlie Bahama Show. Now we've moved over to the Claire Oliver Gallery, right? And we are here with another Bahamian, Geo Swaby, in the house in, or in the tent. Is in where this tent. is in, in the, the tent. tent. <laughs> so, Gio, I was asking the other artists. I mean, how does it feel to be a part of this? I mean, because I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Art Basel and Untitled are some of the biggest mm -hmm. art ex exhibitions in the world, yeah. and you're here. How does that feel? It feels incredible. It feels incredible for me personally to be here, but it's also a historical moment for Bahamian artists because we are. There's so many of us at this fair, also over at Basel, like all throughout Miami Art Week, so it's just like, my heart is exploding. It's so good, yeah. Wow, and I gotta say, George, we'll show this ensemble, because I love this. This is like, <laughs> I say, painter chic. I mean, it looks like she just came out of the, uh, out of her, uh, you know, studio doing her work and everything, and then, thank I mean. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, I, I look so shabby next to these beautiful women. Not at all, you look perfect. I love your outfit. I'll pay, I'll pay you a little you know, after, okay? Now, now tell me about this, because, it, from afar, it looks like it could be painting. Mm -hmm. But when you get really up close, it's it's really beautiful. It's stitch work. So tell me about that and, and, and why you chose that. Is that your background? Were you going to go into mm -hmm. fashion or designer? I was not going to go into fashion. It is my background, though, because my mother was a seamstress. So she taught me how to sew at a very young age. And fabric has always been a big part of my life. 
Um, so I decided because I was making these portraits of the women that I admire and love so much, I thought that this practice that I built together with my mom was a great way to pay tribute to them. Now you're telling me these, the three of these are your sisters? Yes, these are my sisters, my, my three older sisters, so I feel like they, you know, whenever I'm with them, I feel like we're all here together. It's a really good time. Did they approve? Absolutely. <laughs> I, I had to get their approval every step of the way, like, okay, what pose, like, what you're going to wear, so they, they're really proud. They're super happy, yeah. Great, because you know siblings, they'd be like, man, that don't look like me now, <laughs> you yeah, know? my arm too, or you know what, like, yeah. can you take in my sides? But no, 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 the, they were really happy with them, and... Uh, I think what happens is people are always kind of like surprised at the photos that they take and how good they look and especially when you like transfer it to this medium, it, it's it's really a great experience, yeah. Yeah, well I can tell you it is difficult, I mean, you know, painting somebody but to use fabric to get that, you know, the, the, the re resemblance of them is really tough, so. Yeah, yeah, it's really, it, it is a difficult process, it's, a, it's, it's different to painting but also similar in a way that um, I have a bit of flexibility with how I want to work but I'm also working with the uh, patterns that already exist but I think that adds a little bit more magic to the work too when I'm working with things that are already in existence and I'm bringing them all together to create like one portrait yeah and they're very stylish I guess hey you, you I mean look at them they look stylish a any of them single <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm just serious. <laughs> anyway, listen, um, Gio, I am so proud of you guys. And, and uh, guys, girls, because it ain't no guys over here. It's all the girls representing. I mean, how do you feel? You're like the, uh, you know, the, the golden girls of the art world. Yeah, yeah, we just saying that yesterday. Like, I love the golden girls, and I want to be like the art golden girls. I'm really excited about that. It's just been incredible, absolutely incredible. Wow. Well, congratulations, okay, very much, and, and much success to you in your future. Thank you so much. All right. More Charlie Bahama right after this. If you want more Charlie Bahama, go to any of our social media pages or subscribe to the Charlie Bahama YouTube page. Well, that was another fantastic Charlie Bahama show, and I am so proud of all these Bahamian artists. The Bahamian ladies are, are strong, man. They're representing the Bahamas over here. So please, you know, if you can, support Bahamian art, men and women, of course, all the Bahamian artists that are abroad and also in the Bahamas, okay? Because this is our time to shine. And like I say, I am the Minister of Culture, and we're still trying to get that Ministry of Culture going. And I'm so happy that the Prime Minister came over to Art Basel and Untitled to see all the Bohemian art. So hopefully he'll be one that will help us get that Ministry of Culture. And until then, I will be your Minister of Culture. All right? Till next time, check us out on Charlie Bahama, all our social media platforms, you know, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And when you do, you'll get to see not only the Charlie Bahama show, but Bahamians all around the world doing big things and celebrities that come to the Bahamas. All right? Until next time.